Hi, my name is George Garcia. I'm a product support specialist with Autodesk Eagle. And in this video, we're going to be showing you one of the new features in our latest release of Eagle. In this video, we're going to be showing you the Route Multiple Air Wires routing engine. This is completely new to Eagle. We've never had anything like this, and we know it's going to be a huge time saver for you. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. So we have this component. We want to route these four over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're in the multiple air wires routing mode. You can select it by left clicking the little down arrow here. It'll bring up all the different route modes. Or if that's difficult, you can right click and that'll show you the routing modes as well. So we're going to select route multiple air wires. Now the selection mechanism is similar to the quick route multiple air wires functionality where we use a line selection. So I'll start, I'll click on this pad over here and you notice that a line forms from the point where I clicked. Anything that line touches is included in the selection. So I'll left click to complete that line. I can left click and form other lines, pick discontinuous groups, it's all valid. Once we're ready to start routing, I only want to do these four pads, I'm going to right click and you'll see that the pads start. We start from the pads. So you'll notice that I am in push mode. Push mode is applicable to the multiple air wires routing engine as is obviously walk around as you can see we're moving everything around and it's adjusting as we go so I can left click to complete that segment keep working my way across okay I'm going to zoom out a little bit Okay, you'll notice that we're kind of stuck. We don't have a way to kind of move any further. What we can do is we can adjust the spacing between the different members of this group. And the way we do that is we have several shortcuts we can use. You'll notice at the bottom of the of the info bar it tells you what the commands are, but we have shortcuts that have been defined now in Eagle for this. So Alt A is going to decrease the spacing between them. And you see? I increased it enough that we can get through. Okay. And now if I do Alt S, I can increase that. And you see it's increasing, it'll walk around any obstacles in the way. It'll push, it'll do whatever it's gotta do. And that at that at that point I took it to its limit. If we do Alt D, that'll automatically take it to the minimum. Okay, so those are your, your three shortcuts. Alt A decreases the spacing. Alt S increases it, and then Alt D takes it back to minimum. Okay, so we can keep going now, keep going. Now, once we reach a point where we want it to kind of finish on its own, what we can do is we can just hit enter. And you'll see that it went and it automatically finished routing the, the multiple air wires. So, really easy can save a lot of time and as you can see it takes advantage of the pushing capability of the walk around obstacles mode really really efficient now we don't want you to get the idea that this only works on single layer traces so let's go ahead and go to this little group over here and see what it does so again we have multiple air wires routing engine active we do our line selection I'm going to pick these three right click to start it and again you can see we have the routing engine going okay now what happens when we want to transition layers you're gonna notice here up on the right we have different via patterns that can be used okay right now it's in stagger mode so if I spacebar to switch layers you'll see how it staggers the vias for the group okay now we have different modes if I do alt 1 it'll try to put them all in the same line as you can see there all in line if I do alt 2 it'll do like this triangular staggering that's there okay alt 3 also Diagonal staggering, but in the opposite direction. 
and then alt 4 is just an alternating stagger okay so I can give you really good control over how your traces are arranged and how the transitions work so really very useful now one thing that we also want to highlight in this mode that's new to all of the routing modes is a new type of bend style so if we go over here you notice we have this bend style here where we can do circles or half circles now what's interesting about this mode is that it does not have any of the assisted features okay so we, we need to keep that in mind so you'll see that it's giving all sorts of violations and that's just by the nature of the type of curve and you can control the radius very specifically and make some really nice controlled impedance routes so that's everything that's new obviously I can backspace and go back to this mode here and that's everything that's new to the routing multiple air wires mode thank you for watching this video have a great day